One of the new and interesting aspects of sovereign carbon market is the ability now for investment banks to enter into, I'm gonna call it the transaction flow. And for them, this is a significant revenue opportunity. In addition to just the revenue in terms of normal underwriting fees, we know, they know, they have buyers that want to purchase at scale. And we're talking major technology companies, oil companies, almost any US company, and for that matter, globally, any, most companies now have got an internal cost of carbon that's allocated to a particular departments. So we know for the banks, this is a huge new business line for them. It's an underwriting business. We know that the scale was talked about at Baku, was talked about at Dubai. We're talking about a trillion dollars a year of required issuance at roughly today's clearing prices. That represents a a meaningful revenue line for those banks that want to enter into the underwriting of sovereign carbon securities. So we've had great meetings with some of the bulge bracket and other firms globally as partners, and we need those partners to actually bring these deals to the market. We've structured these in a way where the initial knee jerk reaction is, oh, we're dealing with these you know lower credit rated countries, but the structure that we've actually built really negates a lot of the credit risk at every level to the country itself. So we've been able to satisfy risk management groups and banks. We've been able to satisfy accounting groups in terms of being able to audit these transactions. Again, not to go back, but I, I can't overstate enough the importance of the data hygiene, data quality underpinning this. These are tried and true principles in capital markets. Banks require minimum, absolute minimum standards on things like human involvement in data management. We have no humans that are involved in the data management of our sovereign carbon issuance at Laconic. And just to be clear, we're not issuing the securities. The country is issuing through a structure and the notes are being underwritten as a traditional security would be by a regulated entity. We're simply working with the bank, bringing the bank and the country together to affect the issuance.